Okay, yeah. Hello. Uh, Kat, the reason you got the Avidkin ping was probably because of... If you've left and joined so many times and have selected the role before, it will... The bot will reset, and when you join back, you won't have the role anymore. So it was something probably glitched out there. I can just remove the role from you. If you want to remove it, you could also just react and then unreact. I'll just do it right now. Yeah, you, you don't have the avid kitten role anymore. It's not broken. It's just... Okay. Um... Hello, try and turn it. What? 1B, 2B. Diabolina, wifey, bug, and the girl boss. Yeah, you won't get pinged anymore, cat. And, uh... Did my game just break? Okay, yeah, it did. What was it gonna be? Yeah, wifey, it has been like this multiple times now, already. The... You're gonna watch Pussy Monster? Okay, you... Do that. It's, it's, the starting screen has been like that, oh. He is a buzz. Okay. You haven't been to the beginning of the streams. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, it's been like that pretty often. Sometimes it's instead of the monkeys, it's a, a different set of monkeys, and they're jumping up and down. It's playing the George Lopez team. Or maybe if I'm playing a horror game, it'll have something like related to the game, like a. You know, some scary thing. Like a breathing and whatever. Oh yeah, I forgot I was... Last time I ended it was all sad. I don't even feel strong enough to cry. I'm all out of tears. I look at my bed. There's blood everywhere. Did my arm bleed again? I lift my sleeve. Uh, the last thing that happened in the game was... What was it? Spacebar aka Natsuki confessed their love for in-game character Kaleidos. And then... The character we play as, Sayori... Or Alokos... Uh, got all sad about that. Which led to... Did Monica have a name? I think it was Kermit the Frog. Coming in and uh, making us even more depressed. And now we're waking up in the morning, all sad and covered in blood. And Gumboodle's Wuga Honkabonkas, somewhere in there. Indeed, the wound, wound is bleeding. I may have moved too much. Everything feels so monotone. Same room, same dreams. Except Kaleidos will leave me soon. I clench my fists. I don't want this. I don't want this. I slam my fist into my pillow. Why am I so angry? This is unlike me. Nothing feels right. Even sleep isn't peaceful anymore. No, she does not. She does not want it at all. That thing that spoke to me in my dreams last night. It was right. It was stupid of me to believe that everything would be okay. That thing was, being, was Kermit the Frog, of course. I should have expected this. I still have a little bit of time left before I have to go to school. Maybe today I won't have to lie and say I've slept. But the truth is, I really don't want to go. I'm certain the usual happy mood that the club has, n has is now gone. Since Spacebar and Kaleidos will be... No. I'm out of voice change. My voice is so versatile. Yeah, this is so deep, very deep. No. I can't understand what I'm feeling at all. Oh, yeah. Uh, welcome, kami son, but where did you come from exactly? Because I saw that you followed, but it was when I wasn't even streaming. I'm just curious. I stand up. I guess I don't really need to change my clothes today. I'll have to be extra careful if I don't want anyone to find out about my condition. Maybe I could just do the same as usual and take a walk before school. I grab my bag and exit my house without eating or showering. Uh, 
by condition, I think by condition she just means uh, her mental state, where like, she's like the type, she's a, uh, she's kind of, so much for it, is it altruistic? I think it's altruistic where she's just like, has no concern for herself, she's not self-concerned at all, and she's also cutting herself. Everything feels much calmer when I exit my house. We're kind of depressed in the game. I'm a friend of Bug and I saw that they made an announcement that you'd be live, so I just followed. Oh, thank you to Bug and thank you for, to you for following and coming in. I don't believe in auras and all of those things, but I just know something's wrong when I'm inside. Suddenly, Kaleidas walks out of his house as well. I don't think he saw me. He didn't even look in my general direction. I really don't matter, huh? I'll skip classes again. I could use some rest after all. I'd love to get some rest as well, but... <sighs> Since the sun is shining brightly today, I think I'll go and lay down in the grass somewhere. At least no one will bother me there. So dramatic? Yeah, I'm a real drama queen, aren't I? This is like... Maybe the seventh time that I've skipped school in this game. Who knows how many times she skipped it when we weren't there. The bark is empty. Of course, all the students must already be at school. Lane Hooker, yeah. Mm-hmm, Lane Hooker. Well, now because of Automod, it looks like you said hooky meant I meant plain hooker. So now you look a little weird like that. I think I think it's at the IE. I think. I can't really be feeling ashamed of being such a failure if I'm always skipping classes. It's my own fault. I lay down on the grass and I look at the sky. I've been doing that more and more lately. Looking at the sky and spacing out. There is no point in anything but I feel slightly more peaceful. I'm already dreading the thought of having to get up and leave the park. My mind is always busy thinking about spacebar and colitis. She has epilepsy? Why? I don't get it. Bittersweet. I'm glad Kalidas will have someone to share his life with. But even though he doesn't say it, because she's spacing out. Is that it? I don't think the epileptic people, do they? Is that like absent species seizure? Oh. Oh, have I never heard of this? You were an epileptic. Sometimes you forget that. So. Hmm. Well done. Since absent seizures are a type of epilepsy, a condition that causes seizures. Okay, then. Interesting, you're, que you're cured. Not really, I kind of went away. Well, that's good. Congratulations! Whenever, for whenever that happened. Even if it was like five years ago. I'll be replaced, and there's nothing I can do about it. Of course there's nothing you can do about it, you'll die alone! Who was that? Oh, I know, that's actually Kermit's voice, technically. But then, I'm not supposed to wreck it? Ah, whatever. I actually anxiously look around me. There's no one else here. Yeah, not only is she epileptic, but she's also, uh, she's schizophrenic. So, I recognize that voice. Okay, never mind, I guess I am supposed to recognize the voice. I'd swear it was the same one from the empty classroom. Ah, oh, never mind. Who are you? No answer. I wish I could stay here longer, but I don't want to face my fears again. I exit the park, half running. 
I feel like I'm slowly becoming insane. I can't feel anything at all. I'm hearing things. I'm seeing things. My mind is always thinking about horrible things. My last hope is the literature club. If the ambiance changes there too, I don't know how I'll be able to overcome this. I don't think I'll be able to. The classes have already started. I should go and study, but what if I hear things again? I was really hoping this would be a little scarier. I'm hoping it will get scarier. Right now it's just kinda sad. Just be deaf. Yeah, but what if you hear the voices in your head? What are you gonna do then? Everybody will make fun of me. I'll just stay in the club room and wait for everybody. It feels strange to be the only one here. Be deaf in your head. But what if you're not strong enough, then what? What if you just can't bring yourself to do that? It should feel peaceful, but the lack of activity makes it much creepier. There really isn't much to do. I didn't bring any books with me, and Spacebar would kill me if I touched your closet. Go in a pond? Huh? I don't know. I can't believe the automod sent, like, stopped weakling from being sent. I don't want to think about it, but I think I spotted some books in the empty classroom yesterday. But I saw must have been an illusion. There's no way that could be real. I've said it before. This is reality. Okay. I'm doing this. I just can't sit here and wait. Stay here and wait. <laughs> now... I glance at the stairs. I saw- I know that Gumboodle to Wooga Honka Bonk is in class right now, but I really can't forget what I saw yesterday. What we saw was Gumboodle to Wooga Honka Bonka came down the stairs and she was cutting herself too. It's silent. The sound of my footsteps resonate as I climb the stairs. I'm starting to think this may not be a good idea. It's as dark as it was yesterday and the atmosphere makes me feel sick to my stomach. Did I just hear us? Sound in the background. It's only a room. Nothing bad will happen. The only obstacle here is myself. I peek inside. The closet is still open, just like I left it yesterday. Nothing has moved. Of course, there's nothing in there. I open the door and I step in. Cold. Is this game actually scary? I mean, this is the mod. This is a mod. And so far it hasn't been scary. But when I first played it, it was pretty disturbing. Chad. Oh yeah, just... Chad. Chad. Why is it so Chad in here? The door just closed. Just what is happening? No. Uh, another absence, absence. She seizures. Ah. There's no way this is real. This has to be a dream. I'm going to wake up. No, you won't. I freeze. Can it hear? What I'm thinking. What do you want from me? I'm Timothy Frog and I just want you to understand that you should give up. Is that too much ready for you to ask? I didn't do anything wrong. I'm just trying my best. I'm nearly sobbing and sobbing as I speak. I still cannot make out who or what this thing is. Will it scare me again? I won't scare you again. What do you expect? That'd be way too easy. Now you see, I think that was pretty stupid of you to come back here. My hands search for the door behind me. I try opening it, but it won't budge. Please, just let me go. I will, don't worry. Don't worry, Alcos. <clears throat> I'm, I'm Kermit the Frog. I'm Kermit the Frog, Miss Piggy. Ah, oh, whatever. <laughs> but make sure you don't forget anything this time. The strange shadow has disappeared. I try screaming, but there's no noise coming out of my mouth. Such a... Why have you... What? No. Don't talk about Kermit like that. What did it mean by forget? The only thing I forgot last time was, I glanced at the closet. I slowly walked towards it. Is this what it wanted me to look at? A, a rope. I'm shaking. I think I know why it wants me to take the rope. But I can't. I won't. I slammed the closet door. I'm not doing this. I don't want to leave Clytus behind. I don't want to let Spacebar down. I promised I would support her. I try opening the door again. It won't open. There's no way this is real. Let me out! Silence. I fall on my knees into the dusty classroom floor. Why do I deserve this? What have I done wrong to be hated by everyone? 
I just wanted to make everyone happy. I start sobbing uncontrollably. I can't stand this anymore. I want to disappear. I put my head against the wall. I feel nauseous. Do I... Do I have to take the rope? Why? Who would deliberately want someone to end their life? Someone who knows what's best for you. Leave me alone! I close my eyes. I mustn't look. I mustn't listen. It's going to let me out. This is going to be okay. Your scary voice looks, sounds like the one girl in horror movies that's like, Oh my god, let's go to this scary knife, man. Well, what did she do here? She went into the classroom where this happened to her already. And now what's happening? She's being forced to take the rope for her new set home. A fun arts and craft project. It's going to let me out. This is going to be okay. Do you still believe in that lie? The voice is right next to my ear. I'm still crying. Why won't it go away? Uh, I'll, I'll take it, but leave me alone, please. Good. See, it's not that hard. I try the door once again, still closed. I open the closet door and I grab the sturdy rope. I don't remember seeing it here yesterday, but I came for the supplies. I hide it under some books in my bag. I'll just throw it away as soon as I get home. I head for the exit. The door finally opens and I run outside. Uh, NF. I'll go and rest on the rooftop again. No one will find me there. I'll never forget this. It's as if I were destined to suffer. I've never harmed anyone. I'm lying and I'm hurting myself to keep everyone else happy. Maybe it's a punishment for trying to get close to Kaleidos, even when I know he doesn't want me to be. This is all my fault. I put my face in my hands. I keep crying more and more. It's as if all the tears I couldn't cry for the last few days were suddenly released. Why won't I stop? It's over. It's gone. I did what it wanted me to do, but that doesn't mean I'll use that rope. Hello, Kaiser. Welcome in. I'm trying to tell myself it's going to be alright, but it just doesn't work. I'm stuck with my own mind. I don't even know how much time has passed before I stopped crying. I take my deep breath. Fresh air. I feel a bit better now that it's all out. I can't go back to where... Back to the club room, like this. I don't know how long I've been up here, so maybe everyone is already there. I look at my reflection on my phone. My eyes are all red. There's no way that I'm going to show the side of me to everyone else. Not after lying to a space bar like I did yesterday. I'll just go and wash my face in the bathroom. I wash my face several times at the sink. The water hurts my face, but I don't care. I need to hide my eyes somehow. Even after a few minutes of washing, I still look exhausted. I guess there's just no way for me to hide the mess that I am, huh? My voice cracks a little. What's wrong with me? I got no right to be scared or sad. This is my fate. Water or acid? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just really... Yeah, sure, it's acid water. <laughs> it's acidic water. Yeah. My retribution. Oh, well, I'll call back. I dry my hair and I head for the club room. I look inside. Kabudul, Zawuka, Banka, and Space Bar are already there, again. Space Bar is reading the manga with a pleased look on her face while Kabudul, Zawuka, Banka is absorbed into her book. I'll just pretend I have a headache and I'll go sit in a corner. I open the door and the two of them look at me. Hello. Space Bar stands up and greets me. Kabudul, Zawuka, Banka waves at me. The name? I don't know. You know, I didn't name any of them besides Alakos. Uh, what was your voice? Oh, yeah. Hey, Alakos! You look a bit tired. Is everything alright? Yeah, don't worry. I'll just have a headache. I'll be better soon. Make sure you're healthy for the festival, okay? Don't you worry about that. I'll rest a bit for the others, if you don't mind. Spacebar gives me a quizzical look, and then continues reading her manga. Sounds like Brenda from Gravity Falls, actually, no it doesn't. Sounds better than Brenda. I sit down at an old table in the back of the room, and I look at my hands. Is everything back to normal? It looks like it is. The spacebar and Gambudal Zabuka Honka Bonka are both look fine. Kermit must be playing the piano, and Kaleidos must be on his way. Just a mundane day for everyone. 
Suddenly, the club door opens. Kalinas enters and Kermit follows him shortly after. Oh man, I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, I just walked into. Kamboodles Booga Honka Bonka, yeah, that's what Gumbo named it. It used to be just Gumboodles, and then it became Gumboodles of Wooga Honka Bonka. As soon as Gumboodles of Wooga Honka Bonka spots Kalidus, uh, she closes her book and stands up. So Spacebar hasn't told her, has she? Are you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> Instead of going to the upper floor, maybe I should have gone with her. But I probably would have just bothered her. Playing the piano isn't particularly easy. You must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano. Uh, well, maybe not ter determination, but I guess passion. Remember that club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. The spelling? Here, I'll type it. No, okay, like... I don't know what's with Gumboodles, Abuka Hunkapunka's voice, it kind of changes all the time, because I cannot keep it consistent. Uh, Spacebar is supposed to be like this really rough, tough trucker bodybuilder. It's really, you know, rough and loud. Uh, Sayori's Alakos, but it's kind of, the voice is kind of devolved and gone more feminine. And then, yeah, she's the Kermit. I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival too. I haven't really been of much use at all. I haven't even finished the poster I was- Oh, I haven't even finished the po poster I was working on yesterday. Ah! I can't wait for the festival! It's gonna be great! She glances at Kalidus and happily smiles at him. I'm pretty sure she's gonna ask him to go with her. Can you do Russian Kermit when it's the voice in your head? I can try. I'm not allowed to feel jealous. Oh wait. I'm not allowed to feel it. I'm I'm I must be I'm Kermit the Frog. I'm not allowed to feel I'm not allowed to feel What it's so hard to do an accent in that way. Is Russian Kermit already a thing? But I can try to copy. Oh it is. One second. Come on, talk already, Kermit. Kermit, can you speak? Okay, wait. This music is so loud, wait. Okay. He sounds like a normal Kermit. Okay, what is this? This is Balderdash. Okay, whatever. I guess I'll have to just improvise something. His name is Constantine? From Europe's Most Wanted. What? That's not Russian Kermit, that's Constantine. What were you- Constantine Kermit? Wait, what? Kermit Constantine's number one criminal and doppelganger of Kermit the Frog. He's the main antagonist in the film, Muppets Most Wanted, along with his sidekick Dominic Bad Guy. His pupils are shaped like Kermit's but are slanted and towards each other at a sharper angle. Okay, wait. What do I- where- where does- Can you talk, please? Oh my god. Mm. Oh, wait. That doesn't sound like Kermit the Frog at all. Let me, let me, let me see what else I can find. Yeah, it doesn't even have like that, like... You know, this is so funny, I'm glad you think so. Okay, wait. Okay, I can try. Whenever it's like the voice in my head that's talking to me to kill myself, I will do evil Kermit. Cockatoo and Malibu. Yeah. No, I never knew that till now. Okay. Oh wait, I need to... Yeah, there we go. Eh! 
Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Spacebar? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. You sound a bit like Alcos all of a sudden. Why are they all talking about me? I don't answer. I don't even think Kaleidas noticed me. Mon Kermit, do you really think- Do they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on! Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people? I made this joke last time, but because she's an anime girl. Why is Spacebar so cheerful today? No, anime girl, tentacles, whatever, and die. Make Monica a monkey. Right now, he's, she's a frog, so. Is it because I told her that Kalidus has feelings for her as well? I'm kind of glad I managed to make her happy. Make her her, yeah. I'm kind of glad I've managed to make her her happy. That's my only objective. As long as everyone can be happy, it's all good to me. Hopefully. Eh, I didn't say I didn't like it. Besides, what do you want mean by you of all people? Because it's right in your name! Kermit! Eh, that's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. Did these two get enough sleep? What, were they, what they're saying makes no sense. But I kind of like the relaxed ambiance right now. Her. Ah, never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as Gumboodle Wooga Honka Bongas or uh, Alagos's anyway. Oh God, I thought this one. Excuse me. You're scared. What are you scared of, monkey? Monkey? Do you really want a monkey? Commit your Kermit voice is so good. Thank you. It's, it's it, I don't know, like, she went from, like, this, some, some sort of, like, disoriented kid, to, like, someone to the lisp, and then she became, like, a, she, it was supposed to be Noodle's voice and Gumbo's voice in the same thing, and then eventually it just went into some sort of, like, you know, foreign, high-pitched, some sort of, like, scientist. I don't know, okay, I have no idea what to do the voice. Suddenly, Kaleidus looks confused. Suddenly, I look confused. Okay. Where is Alakos anyway? Oh, there you are. What? So he really hadn't noticed me. I keep looking at my hands. I don't want to look him in the eyes. Kaleidus walks towards me and waves his hand in front of my face. Eh? You're spacing out again. Uh, uh. Eh, <laughs> sorry. Noodles is not- no, uh, noodles and gumbo were put in a bowl and mashed together and out came purple hair. You know. Make her Slovakian. <laughs> Why? It's supposed to be gumbo- noodles. It's gumbo and noodles. It's not- neither of them are Slovakian. It doesn't make sense. Don't mind me. No reason. There's a reason. There has to be a reason. Sounds not good s considering they're siblings. Hey, they both wanted to be the same character, and that's that's what ended up happening, okay? The first time I ever streamed this game. Uh, you can go talk to everyone else. Why is it so hard to hide my feelings now? Everything was going so well up until yesterday. I'm going to ruin everything if I keep acting this way. Huh. Is everything alright? Uh, uh, of course. Why wouldn't it be? My voice is shaking. Clytus doesn't look too convinced. It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? I show him a big smile. My stomach hurts. I feel like I'm about to throw up. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, alright. Yes, Gamboodle to Booga Honka Banka, yeah. Is... Or, you know, is just the product of two siblings mashed into one. Uh, if you say so. Kalidas gives me one last glance before turning around and going towards the group. A few days ago, I would have been so glad to see that he cares about me, but right now all I feel is guilt. I'm wasting his time. Talking to me means he's not enjoying himself. This is my fault again. He ponders for a moment and walks towards Monica. Or, I mean, Kermit. Kill, okay, that sounds weird. Yeah, I know. 
I know. Is he going to talk to her about me? Well, I can't just watch them from back here. I get up and I quietly sit on the table next to them. Glides, Glides, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Alicos recently? So I guess he really does want to talk about my well-being. I want to join the conversation and tell them that I'm all fine, but I just can't. I want... I can only listen in on them. It would be too awkward if I said anything. Oh god, wait. I'm... I'm just mindlessly playing with my school supplies on my desk, just acting like I'm not listening to them. Anything up with her? In, in what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Stop worrying about me. Please stop. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. I think she's looking at me. I've got to pretend I can't hear anything. The only thing I can't notice is that Mon Kermit isn't suspicious, so at least he's not planning to show it to Kaleidos. Maybe there is something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the only one asking you, Clytus. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really liked this. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'd drop it now. <laughs> Why does it hurt so much to seem worried about me? If only I chose not to come in today. Maybe none of this would have happened. I'd still be at home. And the Clydes would be enjoying his time here. No, no. It's more important to me, too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know? Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. No. No, I don't want her to worry, too. Kermit is such an amazing person. Why would she waste uh, her time on someone like me? Uh, do we like Kaleidos? Not really, actually. He's like... I mean, at first, from the perspective of Kaleidos, you know, it seemed fine. But then from the, here, this perspective, he seems like he is, because of the player, I guess, because of the line that they were playing, the, you know, not really. It was kind of a dick to us, or kind of just ignored us a lot, and was just, you know, swooning over every other woman. I hate myself. I'm so tired of being a burden to everybody. Uh, are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just has a hard time bringing it up with the person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? There's no way that she... No. Are you saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Clytus? No, she can't do this. I'm shaking. Everything is falling apart so fast. My facade, my friends, Clytus. This is all because of me. I'm the one to blame. He'll probably start hating me even more now. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but... Alagos talks about you more than anything else, you know? Yeah. Why would you do something like that? I'm going to lose everything. All of the things that I've worked so hard to build up, everything lost. She's been much happier ever since you've joined the club. It's like an extra light has turned on inside of her. I sigh. I'm a bit re relieved. Maybe Kalindus will believe that I'm happy. I really got scared for a minute. She's built up, uh, yeah, some sort of sandcastle of, uh, you know, some masks of false happiness. So, you know, one of those. What? No way. Alakos is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it always has been. <laughs> You're so funny, Clytus. Have you thought about that? Maybe you've always seen her as cheerful? Because that's just how she is when she's around you? Just, just how much does she know about me? Everything. I can't think straight. How can she know about that? Yeah, I didn't know how to do a Kermit laugh. That was eh heh heh. Okay. I've never shown this side to me before, to anyone before. There's no way that she can know so much. I bite my hand as hard as I can. I want this to stop. Ah, I said too much. I'm sorry, what do I know anyway? 
I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget that about what I said. She knew what I... Oh, she knew what I, she was saying. I know that for sure. That got you off guard with the laugh. You think Monica? I mean, Kermit. Kermit is Monica. Yeah. I'm scared. I don't want the club to start having, stop out of welcoming atmosphere. I want to keep being here. But if I can't do so anymore, where will I go? I'll try to talk to her. So... Oh, wait. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think it was about it for now. Ah. Uh, Alright. Clyde sits at the table. He looks really concerned. Kermit walks towards me and kneels down beside me. Oh, this is when she... I remember this. She starts whispering. Hey, Siri. Hey, Alcos, are you alright? Uh, of course I am. Tell me, did you happen to hear me and Glidus? I feel a chill go down my spine. Why am I so scared? No, I didn't. Why? Was it important? Liar. What is she saying? How does she know? Oh wait, I need to be... I need to be, need to be scary, Kermit. Uh, Constantine Muppets. Why did no one tell me that there was no audio for the desktop this entire time? Why did no one tell me there was no- Why? 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 Oh, here you go. There's the glitched out music that's playing right now. I thought you were doing it to be scary. Come on, no! It's scarier with the happy music and then it just goes weird all of a sudden. No! Come on, really? It's always an accident. It's, it's never on purpose. And this happens every time I have the guitar thing happen. Where, you know, I play guitar and I have the audio off so I don't get copyrighted because I have to look at a video to see what song they're talking about. And then then I forget to turn it back on. And then no one reminds me. Unless Prolly's there. He's the only one I can count on to tell me my audio's, like, not on. Now, except for working dogs. Okay, let me see. What if I wanted to bring my pet turtle? I... What if I wanted to do? I'm just gonna do whatever. I'll do like a... You're a horrible person, Alikos. You're a liar. What? What am I seeing? This isn't real. This isn't Kermit. Did you really think I wouldn't notice? Did you really think to let you believe things would get better? You would have thought I could have told Clytus about you. I know what you're afraid of. If I wanted to, I could destroy your whole facade right now. He's more Italian. Is it Italian? So listen carefully to me, Alicus. Give up. Stop trying to get closer to Kaleidis. You're merely making his life harder. By trying to make everyone happy, you're just making everything worse. I'm the only one who- I'm the one who decides things here. You have no right to influence things. Make sure you forget him. Make sure you forget about what I just said, alright? I don't- I don't understand. Why is Kermit saying these things? Reminds me of your old boss at a pizza place. <laughs> I'm glad that he's your old boss. Wow. <laughs> How am I supposed to forget? So remember, Alicos, we care about you, okay? Honestly, thought you did. Look, are you like a whole 10 minutes delayed? What? No, I did not do it on purpose. Why would I have done that on purpose? This makes sense. Kermit gives me a compassionate smile and walks away. I don't really remember what she said. Was I spacing out? Why do I feel worse than before? Kermit tried her best to make- best to cheer me up. Oh my god, silence is scary. No- No, the entire time it wasn't even scary until like- It was kinda of creepy there, I guess, sure. Uh, maybe. But- No! 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 I'll show you something scary when I'm finished with- Whatever this part is. Okay, I'm just ungrateful. She's going out of her way to make be extra kind to me, and here I am feeling depressed again. Okay, now that's just stupid. Did you you forget exactly what just what you just said? Okay, I look at Kaleidus. Spacebar is already talking to him. I really feel like I shouldn't be listening to them, but after what the Spacebar told me yesterday, I want to see what she will do with him. I won't make you wait any longer. Jeez! Now you're making me feel like a jerk. If something's bothering you, then you can just tell me 
to leave you alone, and I will. I mean, assuming you didn't feel like talking about it or anything. She's really trying her best in her conversation with Clytus. His music is nice, but in the silence. Yeah, I wish that someone said that the music was off. But I'm delayed because it takes time to process things. Okay, so you're, the stream for you isn't delayed, it's just you. Kale? Yeah, hello, Kaiser. You're concerned? Yeah, me too. Ah, oh, shut up. She's really trying her best in her conversation with Clytus. Uh, I'm probably making it seem like a bigger deal than it is. I've just been thinking about Alicos, that's all. Uh, Alicos? Thinking about her? Alka, uh, Spacebar looks hurt. This is exactly what I was fearing. People can't be themselves when they're worried. Okay, you- Okay, nap time. Everyone take a little nap. No, but kill. But guys, or what? Maybe everyone would continue their happy chats if I left the room. No, I'm not gonna get up. I'm fine. But maybe they would, they'd be worried. I can't risk it. Yeah, she seems pretty down today. But she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh! She exhales. Did she seriously believe Gladys would fall for me? She's trying so hard to keep her emotions hidden. Well, first of all, you should really work on your phrasing. But anyway, you're her best friend, right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah! Then in that case, I think you should trust her a little more. If she needed you, then you would be the first person she would go to, right? Time to go up. Did you and do things and sleep all night? Ah, uh, yeah, very smart. Go take a nap. Well, I guess that's true. I can't tell if not the space bar is trying to help me or if she's trying to get me out of her way. But either way, I really appreciate it. I don't want anyone to think about me. I can take care of myself. I mean, some people just have those days. You can't always avoid it. If anything, she probably doesn't want you to worry about her, cause it's not important. How can she pinpoint what I'm feeling so accurately? Does she understand? Maybe... Maybe she's lived through this kind of thing before, but there's no way for me to know. Just like with Gumboodle to Wooga Hunka Bonka. Spacebar deserves to be happy too, and I'll try my best to get her that way. Yeah, that's kind of what she said to me. Maybe it's not right for me to go against her wishes. No, why is he blaming himself now? Can't things just go normally? Exactly! If she needed you to worry about her, then it will be a lot more obvious. Yeah. Lydus' expression softened a bit. Spacebar's words soothed him. I should have thought about it. I thought of it that way from the start. Gumboodle, I mean, Spacebar looks down and fiddles with the book she's holding. She... She really means a lot to you, doesn't she? What's she trying to do? Does she really want Clytus to say that he hates me? Uh... Don't get the wrong idea or anything. We've been friends for a long time. It's normal to be worried about your friends. I mean, you were worried about me, so... I was not! You like Spacebar? Yeah, Spacebar's... Something. Really something. She was nice to... Us last time, so... Jeez, if you're fine, then let's hurry and get started already. Yeah, yeah. Just as I expected, these two are flirting with each other. It doesn't feel like the literature club anymore. This is a foreign place. The happy ambiance is gone. The silence of the room is broken once Kermit decides to speak. Okay, everyone. He's acting as if nothing happened. Why don't we uh, share our poems now? After Kermit finishes talking, everyone resumes their normal activities. Time was... Well, it was frozen, I guess. Everyone is happily chatting amongst themselves, but I still feel like everything's dull. I don't know, Kaiser. I don't want to share my poem. I just want to go home. Without even looking at him, I know that Kalidus is already walking towards... the space bar. Poem in hand. They both nervously laugh for a bit, but I'm still not moving. I'm trying to focus on their in their voices. Let's see, let's see. You're certainly enthusiastic today. You know I like your writing. I'm just surprised. 
It seems like you had a lot of trouble admitting that before. It's obvious that Spacebar acts a lot more confident after getting so close to Colitis. I used to feel happy being around him before, but now I just feel uneasy. I'm just glad that these two are getting along, it's, it's the only two thing that matters. Well, well, of course! I just had to put you in your place a little bit. It's not like... I mean, it's not like I was shy or anything stupid like that. Or, or jealous. I really wasn't jealous. Just because you happen to be a good writer? That's such a dumb thing to get jealous about. <laughs> she's trying so hard to hide her uneasiness, yet she's just making it worse. Is it that way for me too? No, I'm sure people believe in my facade, but I still don't understand how Kermit knew. Was she bluffing, maybe? Spacebar. What? What? You're not very confident about your writing, are you? Uh, what are you talking about? The voice is getting deeper and deeper each time I do it. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Perhaps it is. My writing is obviously the best. Right? What is he trying to do? Spacebar looks so embarrassed and uneasy, it's unlike Kaleidos to intentionally make people feel bad. A drain horn, yeah. A drain horn, which is... high, isn't it? More like a... more like a... fog horn. Why doesn't he answer? Doesn't he like what she writes? Why? It hurts me just as much as it hurts her. I don't want to see him behaving like that. So everything did change. Right? Kaleidos? Please just tell me you like my poems. I don't care if you hate them. Just please tell me I'm the best. I just... I just really need to hear that from someone. I know I sound stupid, but there's a reason that I never share my poems before with this. Spacebar. No, I don't want things to go this way. If Spacebar has a breakdown, then who's to say I'll be strong enough to not have one myself? You aren't the best? I thought you liked Spacebar, Kaiser. What? I just want to tell her everything will be alright. I want everybody, everybody to be happy. But I can't do anything. I can't even help my own friends because I'm too weak. I clench my fist. Please make this end. Please make the cl club the place it used to be. Because... Because nobody ever takes me seriously. What's the point in sharing my poems if people just laugh and say, That's so cute, just like you meant, space bar. Sometimes I don't want to be cute, but nobody understands that. I try really hard when I write. The style doesn't matter. The emotions are there. Why can't anyone see that? I just want... She stops mid-sentence. She's definitely having a breakdown. Why does my heart hurt so much? Is this what it feels like, seeing your own friends suffer? Space bear is such as- they all are. They're all sips. Music ain't magic. Yeah, that's true. I don't know what it might. Yeah. This is why I wanted everyone to be happy. And by bringing Kaleidos here, I heard everyone. There are some, like, little things that don't make sense in this mod. There is no winner in this situation. Space bear broke down, Kaleidos hates me, and Gamboodle to Bugahunka Bonk is hurting herself. It's my fault. It's all my fault. Wait, am I crying? No, 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 no. I can't let things go this way. I deeply inhale and I wipe the tears on my cheek. I need to know if, if Spacebar is alright. Hey, Spacebar. If you're not careful, you'll rip your own poem. Gladys gently takes the poem from her. But did he just purposely touch her hand? He places it on a desk and flattens it. D don't read it! She grabs the poem and holds it tightly against her chest. A glance at my poem, maybe I shouldn't share it either. Gladys probably won't care about it. It's not any good. And I know you hate my poems. So you don't have to read this one, okay? But I want to read it. Why? Because... I like your poems. I really do. Why does everyone care what Gladys thinks? He's a butt. Because he's the, he's the player. And they're all programmed too. What, what, why would I judge you for your style? Which girl is like you? Spacebar or Sayori? 
or your alcohol section too. Every romance anime plot, I hate this. <laughs> it's not like my own style is anything crazy. I don't even remember- I don't think this is from the main game, I think this is in the mod. I think this is a new thing. I mean, it's true that the first time I read on your poems, I didn't look much into it. But I know that you better- I know you better now. It's wrong for Gumbrils of Wuka Honka Bonka to think your style is more amateur than hers. Okay, maybe I remember a little bit of this, but I don't know. And Alikos, she always means well. But sometimes she's so focused on simple happiness that she doesn't understand what people really want. Why? Why would he say something like that? Change your name to Kaiser? The only reason her name is Spacebar is because someone used the name generator reward. And it, they became Spacebar. So if you want, you could use your channel points to rename it Kaiser. I swore I'd stay strong, but how can I do so when the person I look up to sees me in such a negative way? Yeah, I guess I never really thought about how hard it is for you. And I'm sorry if I was part of that problem. I understand now. You're not just cute. You're a lot more than that. Ah, uh, Spacebar, you're doing it again. His words, why are they so powerful? If only they were for me. If only he could help me. If only he'd know. No, 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 no. I can't let myself think about this. I can't let him know. If he knows, it's over. I won't ever be able to find a way to be happy. I'll just make his life harder. In almost an hour. I just need to get through this DDLC day. Like one point I was thinking maybe I could beat it in like an hour or an hour and a half. Okay, I can do this. I can manage. Yeah, that's, all, that's what I'm thinking. You can read it. Just turn that way. I don't want you to look at my face right now. Okay, I will. Finish in five minutes. Ow! <laughs> okay, I'll try. Speedrun. He starts reading the poem. Sp uh, Space Mars still looks shaken. Why does he so focused on her poem? It's strange. Duh, I've never seen him act like that. Uh, he seems much more mature. Maybe that's why he hates me. He still sees me as a kid. Uh, after he stops reading, he intensely stares at uh, space bar. I can see that he's looking at her with the admiration. Ellipses, why are you looking at me like that? If you don't like it, then just say it. I won't get mad. No, it's not that I don't like it. It was just a little surprising to read. Uh, I guess I'm not used to hearing such nice things coming from you. What did you write in her poem? She's chocolate is too. I'm being so paranoid. I can't even lie to myself anymore. I'm jealous. I'm going to Boas and Clyde. It's this existence if I keep acting this way. I, I've got to hold, get a hold of myself. I can't do that. Spacebar and Clytus will be happy. I'll do my best. I heavily sigh. It's going to be okay. Don't, don't just say that. Dummy. What do you mean think the point of writing is expressing things that you can't just say? Yeah, I understand. I'm sorry for missing the point sometimes. I hate it hard spot. I always mean well. And I'm... I'm happy that you showed this to me. I, I liked it. Kaleidos' voice is so soft and comprehensive. He's gently smiling at uh, the space bar. Why does my heart skip a beat when I look at him? I'm not allowed to look at him. Only space bar can do that. After all, they'll soon be. They'll be together. Well, yeah. I'm a, I'm a pro too, so... She gotta keep lying, just as I thought. Uh, Space War is hiding things too, huh? I'm so stupid, I th should've noticed. I should've shown more supporters today instead of letting her leave that cafe. I could've done more. Just remember that I can think of these things sometimes too. Oh wait, when you were nice to me, it's uh, meaningful. Uh, I'm glad. I'm going to lose. Like, oh god, I'm gonna like... <sighs> throat. Why does she have to talk so much today? Gladys takes one last look at her bone before handing it back to her. All of a sudden, uh, Space War grabs his bone and pushes it against him. Why does it take me to make me shiver to see me her touching him? Uh, Gladys is already blushing, predictably, yep, his eyes just disappear. His skin just grows over them. If I'd done that, he'd already have backed off. I don't want it. Uh, why not? I just don't. Jeez. She's still holding his hands in hers. I think she's trying to get Clytus to keep the poem. Just like she kept his yesterday, I suppose. It looks like Clytus understood. He gives her a smile and gently folds the poem. Well, in that case, I'm going to keep it. Good. If you didn't, I would. Never mind. Just, I'm glad that you want it. 
She's trying to hide what she's feeling again. She's uh, gained some more self-control, and I can tell she's having a hard time hiding her smile. Shorty and Kermit voice be loving each other. Shorty and Kermit voice? Then what happened in... I don't know, honestly. I'm not sure. <laughs> I, the game's over, I guess. Who knows? Or maybe we come back at the end. This is the, you know, at the end, Sayori comes back and she's all evil. Corrupted by the power that corrupted Monica. Okay. I can't really blame her for doing that. I do the same. No, it has not been an hour. I have a few seconds left. And in a way, I'm doing the same. That's alright for now, so go put it away before something sees it, okay? Oh, uh, yeah. I'll go down and do that. Oh, come on. Walk faster. That's a, this is a, this is a space where has a pain and expression on her face. She's feeling all right. Maybe if Gladys had acted a little differently. I can't speculate like that. Gladys is already sitting here at the table. He checks around to, him to make sure that no one's watching it. He stops a bone in his back. I don't think he noticed he was listening and I was an important person. And uh, what kind of friend would I do that? I'm lying to myself by saying I want to make them happy. It seems like Natsuki, uh, I mean, Space Bar and Kaleidos don't need to be. Everything's going with these two. God, and yes, the cream's supposed to be all creepy and bloody and whatever, but this is a mod and it's not as creepy and bloody. Oh god, it's been an hour. I just, let me try to finish the day. It's so close. I can, I can feel it. We're so close to finishing the day. I don't want to end off in like... Yeah, but a different day. Why is my mind so noisy? I want to make it a stop. It's just like my poem. Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. I hadn't noticed the Gambrils of Ugahanka Banka. She's still reading her book in the corner of the room. She's glancing at Kaleidos. Yes, Kaiser, hi. Uh, did you hear what I heard too? Uh, does she know about Space Bar and him? Kaleidos walks towards her and waves at her. She closes her book and she stands up. You're back to being a suckling. I gave you the rolls. You weren't suckling, but... Did you leave again? Okay, but I'll, I'll go check it later. He ends her his poem without a word. They look a bit awkward. Uh, decided to try something different today. I guess so. Is that good or bad? Well, neither. I have my preferences. But it would be unfair of me to call something good or bad based on that. Why is Gumbrill's Vuga Honka Bonka acting so passively aggressively? Passive aggressively. This is unlike her. She's not e easily disappointed. Maybe that's because she heard about uh, Space Bar. I shake my head. That's none of my business. As always, I believe what's most important is this guy who's to discover yourself. That's comforting. I'm kind of afraid to disappoint of disappointing you in some way or another. Eh? Why me? Gumbudel's Wuga Hunka Banka looks hurt. What's wrong with Kaleidos today? What's wrong with everything? I look at my bag. Is the rope still in there? I touch it. I can feel its shape. It's horrible as the situation gets, I can't do that, I'm not letting this thing tell me what to do. Even if I'm useless, I'll stay alive. I've got to. One minute passed, it's just a little longer, okay? I'm nearly done. Well, you're always sophisticated with your writing and have the most advice to share. Is that so? It looks like she's trying to find her words. What did she- what did they want to say? That must be terrible! Yeah. For me to have become someone whose opinion is fearsome! How unlikable of me! Kamboodle Zabuka Hanka Banka. It's not as bad as you're making it sound in your head. It isn't meant that I respect your opinion. Okay, wifey, thank you. Thank you for coming by. I see. I'm sorry that I wanted to overthink and always come to these sorts of conclusions. I'm just a little too used to it. I changed into an old lady. Quack. What? What, what do you want from me? Goodbye, wifey. What were you thinking? I'm trying, okay? The voice isn't- like I said, Gumboodles is never a consistent voice. It's just always this mismatch thing. Being disliked. Is that how she truly feels? Okay, like, okay, let me try this. Noodles? Hi, hi, I'm Noodles. Hi, hi. Uh, Gumbo. Gale. Gale. Together? Gale. I don't know, that's- that's as close as it can get. Him. I'm Gumboodles. Gale. Hi, uh, I am Noodle. Yeah, okay. I, um, I'm Gumbirdles. Okay, well, now she's a parrot. Okay. And this is the reason why she hurt herself last time, because she sounds like a parrot. Why is everyone breaking down? What will happen when Gladys will come towards me? Will I be able to face him knowing that I hurt everyone? Gumbirdles and Buka Hunka Banka. What? What am I saying? I'm sorry. I didn't really bring that up. Let's move on. All right. Do you want to share your poem now? Okay. Ugh. She gives Kaleidos his poem back and she hands him her poem. She sounds like Bane. What am I doing? The sheet of paper looks wrinkled. Did she do that herself? 
The little Zuka hunk of bunk stuff is usually so clean. Cletus reads the poem. He's faster than usual. Maybe he's getting used to her handwriting. Mine's all shaky. I sometimes can't even read it myself. Okay, bye for now. Kaiser. Or are you just saying- Okay, yeah, you said beer. Okay. But once he's done reading it, he looks at Kampoodle to Google and Kabanka. This is awkward. Um, I'm aware that the beach is kind of an inane thing to write about. But I did my best to take the metaphor. You say that like you didn't even want to write about it. Oh, you haven't heard? I have to add. Faith Bar and I, well, it was amusing that we wrote about something similar in such a different ways. So Space Bar wanted us to write about the same topic as each other again. I see. So Space Bar wrote about the beach too. Why did Kalinas react this way to it then? This makes no sense. I suppose to be better, compare the differences in our writing styles or thought processes. Anyway, it was her idea. Knowing her, it's no surprise that she wanted to do something like that. She probably just wants to show off. It's not like I have a particular interest in her writing style, it's just I went with her request. She's being really cold both towards Kalidus and Spacebar. I'm sure this is jealousy. I've got no right to judge her. As afraid as I, I am to admit it, I am jealous too. Kabootles Uga Honkabaka keep your head up by and help them. Don't let your jealousy get to you. Right. Well, I suppose it's not so bad to write about something simple on occasion. It can be refreshing, you know. It's good for me to calm my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I think I agree. Thanks for sharing. Gladys walks away from Kampoodle Tsubuka and Kabanka. He looks a bit disappointed. I've got to admit, I can't certainly explain Kampoodle Tsubuka and Kabanka's behavior. Why isn't she trying to be nice to him? And maybe that's just my way to see it, but even if Gladys wants to be with Spacebar, everybody should help him. That's what friends are supposed to do. Without stopping at the table, Gladys walks towards Kermit. It looks like she was waiting for him. Hi, Gladys. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, Linus hesitates for a few seconds, so he still doesn't know what he'll read. I can't really blame him, I don't really want to read any of the poems I've written recently either. I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it will turn out great. It'll be able to make me happy to see. Ahaha. <laughs> Unlike Space Mountain Gamudal Zubuka Banka, Kermit is all confident and cheerful. That's just like her. She's always trying to make everyone happy. A bit like me, except she manages to do it. Anyway, let's take a close look at today's poem. Sure. Kermit takes a look at the poem from Clytus' hands. He looks so embarrassed. Is he afraid that Kermit will find out he wrote it for her? Spacebar. Sticking with the, uh, sp the spacebar style once more, I see. Hmm. You really like Spacebar, don't you? Montgomery is not Lightning McQueen's real name. I refuse to believe that, no. I probably. So she guessed it. I'm not really surprised. No, it's not. There... I'm, okay, I'm looking it up. What? Where? Where? What? Where is it said that his name is? No, 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 no. How is? When was he named in Montgomery? Okay, whatever. What? How? How could I have not have known this? Well, yeah, thank you for the information. Learn something new every day. I don't know how she does that, but Kermit is always watching everyone. Yep, I do know. She knows everyone's weak points. She even knows about me. She's really amazing, but it's also scary. Uh, that's... And Clytus is really bad at lying. He's blushing, and I don't think he even realizes that he is. Oh, come on, Clytus. It's awfully suspicious, you know. 
spending time with her in the club room every day, pretending to like the manga that she's into. You know how Spacebar is. If I don't indulge her, she'll end up hating me. Is he really trying to find an excuse? Why is it so hard to admit that you like someone? It'd be easy to assume that he doesn't know himself, but going closer to... Spacebar is definitely intentional. It's so hard to understand him. How can I even be his friend if I can't understand what he's feeling? Eh. No, I think that you're misunderstanding, Kaleidos. It's not like Spacebar just hates anyone who doesn't give her what she wants. Yeah, she's assertive, but she's not that selfish. In fact, I think that you're the only one who's indulged her as much as you have. Is that so? Gladys doesn't know what to say. You might have been a little pushy with him. Why is she acting this way? So I just need to ask one thing of you. Be careful, please. Spacebar is kind of unpredictable. A lot of times she doesn't even know what she wants. After, after all, she's the youngest one here. She might not know how to handle her own feelings properly. What I'm saying is... If something bad happens, then it could end up damaging the club too. And then you wouldn't do that to me, right? That's... What is she saying? Something bad? Gladys would never do anything bad like that. He'd never hurt someone. What was Monica thinking? Both she and Gamburu Tsubuka Hunka Bunk are acting coldly towards him. He doesn't deserve that. I'm the only one who does. Well... Well, you're smart. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Kermit smiles at Kaleidos, but he doesn't smile back. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, alright? Uh, alright. He's shaken. I mean, what uh, Kermit just said was harsh. I just wanted to talk about that uh, space bar as well now. She's just looking at them from the back of the room. She doesn't look too worried. Am I the only one she's scared of because I'm an obstacle? You know, I feel like a learning and looking for answers are these sorts of things that give life meaning. And not to get too philosophical or anything, but I was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. Is this why she knows so much about everyone? Because she's always looking for her answers. Gladys looks a little more relaxed. I'm relieved. I see. I never really put that much thought into it. In a, In a way, it's almost paradoxical. Because if we all had the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. Haha, <laughs> are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you know that better than anyone. But, oh. Oh, I, oh, I get it like a... Because they're the player. They're all two-dimensional, like, in the game. Yeah. But, uh, Kermit is usually saying it makes sense, but some people have it worse than others. It's true that you need a little rain cloud from time to time, but how can you hide when there's a thunderstorm above your head? Some people just can't deal with pain. It's just not something it's some it's not something inspiring. You mean one dimensional? Ah, uh, you're that. Something's off with Kermit today. She's acting differently, and she never makes these kinds of mistakes. Is it because of me? It must be, there's no other explanation. Anyway, yours Kermit's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid he's not that good? It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much effort into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good or okay or bad, you'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things that you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way and it will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thank you for listening. Clytus nods at her and sits at the table. He looks around for a bit until his gaze locks on me. He looks surprised. Did he forget about me? He shyly approaches me. Without a word, he hands me his poem. He must really hate me. I started reading it. Ooh. That's interesting. What am I looking at? Okay, Kawaii Kiss Marshmallow Melody Milk. Mouse nibble, night gown, papa, parfait, playground, poof, pout, puppy, swimsuit, shopping, skipping, socks, spinning, stickly, and then a drawing of. Uh, it's like a. Is that supposed to be hair? It's so hard for me, yeah. It's like someone like biting. Some. 
person. It looks like a little sperm cell, like from the new the Rick and Morty season that mutated. And it's biting at this, like, demon lady. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? What's this thing? Is, is Clydus alright? I want to ask him, but he looks perfectly fine. I'm just... Am I seeing things? I'll look at the poem again. Oh, no. <laughs> it's gone. My hands are shaking. I'm truly becoming insane. The hand collides his poem. Hmm. It's nice, I guess. Come on, I can already tell you don't like it. Well, you don't need to worry about that, I think. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Probably a space fire. Why am I saying these things? I can't control my words. If I keep going with this, I'll ruin everything. Eh. I didn't write this for anyone specifically. Why is he lying to me? Why does he always do that? He doesn't even like me in the first place, so he shouldn't be afraid of being mean. Maybe. That's not really what I meant though. But it's okay. You're making new friends, just like I was hoping. I was supposed to sleep by now. Because I do have to wake up extremely early tomorrow. Like, maybe even earlier than I planned initially. I don't know. But, but I just have to finish the day, okay? I don't want to end up in the middle of it. That makes me really happy. It's like, you know, you know what I, you know. You're happy too, right? In this club? Stop. Stop saying these things. I'm not even controlling my mouth. It's, it's all coming so fast. What's this void that I'm feeling? Well... Of course I am. Good. That's all that matters to me. Thank you, Gladys. Uh, Alakos, is there something wrong? Why is it so hard to hide my feelings? Oh, yeah. It was going so well up until now. What's going on? Gladys should not be worrying. I shouldn't even be here. I should just stop coming to the club. Everybody would be better off. Huh? No, no, nothing. I'm a little tired today. <laughs> Alright. Just tell me if you need anything. He looks like he believes me. I'm a bit relieved, but if he stay if I stay any longer he's gonna be more me again. I can't afford to waste his time in his good mood. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? You can go play with everyone else now. Play. If you insist. Yay. I wanna go home a little bit early today. I remember this in the main game. How it goes? Oh, Cameron, I wasn't feeling any well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before Kalidus gets the time to answer, I stand up and I quickly walk to the exit, how many as loud as I can. As I'm walking through the corridor, I already feel tears on my face. Just as I thought, I broke down, in front of Kalidus. Why did I have to show him that? I hope he didn't see me crying. I look behind me. He's not following me. I run for the exit. I don't want to stay in this place anymore. Yeah, now the music is sad. I can't breathe. I fall to the ground. Why am I shaking so much? It won't stop. I'm contracting every single muscle of my body. I feel like I'm slowly dying. Why did things go this way? This, this is all my fault. I hit my arm as hard as I can, feel warm blood. I don't care, I deserve pain. I just, I look at my bag. No, no, I can't, no, no, don't stop. Don't stop. Suddenly, without a thought, I start running in a random direction. I'm still crying. People are looking at me with weird stares, but I won't stop. I want to get as far away from here as humanly possible. I don't want to be here any longer. I don't know where I am. I've stopped paying attention to my surroundings. What's wrong with me? What if something happens if I get hurt? Nobody will care anyway. It's my fault. I deserve pain. I deserve what's happening to me. Why does it hurt so much? I'm yelling like an idiot in the middle of nowhere. Nobody will hear me. What's the point? I stop running. My legs hurt. I open my eyes and I just look around me. For some reason, I now just remembered that Monica, every single time she talks, it was supposed to be seductive. And then someone layered a Kermit on top of that. So I was supposed to be seductive Kermit. And I forgot to do that this entire time. Now I think the game is over. But oh well. <laughs> I don't know what this place is. Oh, never mind. We're not killing yourself yet. I don't know how long I've been running or if I'm still even in my city. I was... I started sobbing again, I don't know if... What did I just say? Oh, I started sobbing again, I don't know if I'm making noise. 
I'm tired of keeping everything in. But why, why couldn't you understand? I just wanted... I just wanted everyone to be happy. I can't stop crying. The ground below me is dampened by my tears. Suddenly I hear something behind me. Don't be scared. Be scared, Alcos. You said it yourself. This is your fate. So what are you fighting for? You've already disappointed everyone. K Kermit? <laughs> Kale appears out of nowhere. Well, you were... Half right. Someone would appear. N n no. Why can't I be alone? Why won't it ever stop? I know. Why are you following me? My voice is shaking with fear. I don't understand what's happening to me. I'm not following you. You're just insane. My body's shaking to the point where I can't even stand properly. Spacebar? This is all your fault. If you hadn't tried getting closer to Clytus, none of this would have happened. But you made the wrong choice again. You're such an idiot. I look around me. I'm all alone. There's no way they could have followed me here. So why am I seeing them? I try to move but I can't. My body's paralyzed. You've seen how much I hit myself, Falakos! And you didn't do anything! Because I'm nothing but a selfish person! Why can't I close my eyes? I don't want to face this anymore. I just want to leave. I want to sleep. Please end this. End this already? No. You deserve to suffer. You cowardly escaped your situation. You didn't even have the nerve to face Skylitis. Alicos? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, it's actually, you know, Kermit's been messing with her head the whole time. That's what's really happening. So you're not that strong of a person either, after all. You can fight. You're going insane. You're imagining us. Is this how you see us as monsters? Imagine killing his room hunched over like a gremlin. Why would I be hunched over like a gremlin? You're a disappointment, Alakas. You know how hard life is for us. You're the only bad one here. Look at you, poor thing. Shaking and crying, not able to do anything. Always thinking about the same things over and over again. How useless. Oh, did you see that? They like snapped their necks or something. They're gone. I'm not hunched over though. It's all silent now. Uh, I must... I have to leave this place. I have to go even further away. I get up and I stumble. My body's exhaust exhausted but I can't stay here. I started running again. I barely see anything but I mustn't stop. I really can't. Ow. I tripped over something. Before I know it, I'm rolling on the ground. So cold. Yet so warm. Did I fall in the river? I don't want to move. No one will find me here again. If they find me here, it's peaceful. I want to fade away. No. No, I can't just let myself die here. I promise I stay strong. Who cares if everyone thinks I'm weak? I can fight. I can do it. I'm drenched, everything feels so cold. Maybe I should have stayed in the water. I don't know where I am, I'm lost, scared and hopeless, drenched and cold. Okay, yeah, you guys can try to adopt them, you know, pretty much kidnap them, just say it's adopting, but... They're not gonna come with you. But I have to try. If I don't go home, Kaleidos will worry, I can't let this happen. I anxiously look around me, there's no one here. They leave me alone. I have trouble standing up. My legs are aching and my feet are bleeding. After a bit of struggling, I managed to get up on my feet and I just have to find a road or any place that'll give me a clue as to where I am. Nope. And Kaiser, does Bug know about your little plan to eat my bird? Maybe you should, you know, talk over that with your partner. I can't let myself be afraid, else this won't end well. Why did you just come in here and say liver? Lies, yeah, sure, guys, you're sure. Be, be strong, Galakos. You can do this. I grab my wet bag and I slowly walk out of the forest. I grab my wet bag. Yeah. Thank God there's a road nearby. I don't recognize this place, though. Just how far did I go? 
I'm just stupid. I didn't think about the consequences. Clytus, help me. No, I won't. can't depend on Clytus forever. I'd just be a burden. It's all my fault. If it's all my fault, I'll have to fix it. Alone. Oh, gosh darn. Okay, this is gonna be for Alicos, I guess. For the... For this... Uh, come on, pop up. There we go. And now, uh... I didn't expect that I'm having to use this today, so I didn't have the spin wheel like, ready right away. You know, that was the one I was hoping not to get. Okay. Fine. Uh, I'm gonna wait for her until when she talks. I'm just gonna go have to trust my instincts and hope I'll make it home. I started walking in a random direction. I have no other choice. Why did I run away like that? There was no reason to. I just acted impulsively. Just saying, uh, staying on the roof or in the bathroom would have been enough. Shut, shut up, wifey. Yeah, I get it. You're evil. Whatever. This is your big plan. Conspiracy. Whatever. Okay. But I had to overdo it. Am I really being insane? I'm... The things that I saw earlier are real or did I imagine them? There's no way that the members of the club could have followed me. I don't want to look around me, what if they're here? Maybe I won't even be in the right place. After all, I'm only walking in a random direction. It'd be a miracle. What? I know the street. How can I get here so fast? No time for questioning, I have to go home fast. I can't let anyone see me like this, what would they think? What would they say? Finally, home. I should be glad to be back, but I still get a chill down my spine whenever I look at my house. What's wrong with it? It's a warm-up place. It's a warm place. Nothing can go wrong in there. Oh, if only you knew. It's my place. I enter my house, still shivering. I'm so cold. I throw my coat on the floor. It's a gross mix of blood and water. Gotcha? Like, gotcha life? Why isn't she talking? I don't know. Well, I mean, I, no one's here, so I guess... I don't know what I'm feeling right now. Usually she gets visited by her demon kermits, so... Don't worry. This is so stupid, dude. I feel like I deserved what happened to me. What those things told me back in the forest was true. I'm weak and selfish. I'm always thinking about negative things, and I'm trying to fight. But I can't. Because I'm a bad person. Maybe I just need to take a shower or something. I need to clear my head, even if it's just for a minute. I head for the bathroom after taking my clothes off in the living room. Like, so warm, dude! It feels good to be in a warm place. I start the shower. The sound of water startled me. I guess falling in a river wasn't the best idea I've ever had. I step in the shower. Feeling the warm water on my shoulders instantly relaxes me. I usually hate taking showers, but it really feels good. I rest in my head on the wall. Like, I'm so sorry! Like, I'm so sorry! <laughs> Everything's a bit clear in my head. The more I think about it, the more I realize that everything I did today was wrong. I wouldn't have gone in the empty classroom. Wifey, you should be ashamed of yourself for what you did, and you too, Kaiser, for your gotcha life activities. And yes, it was shaggy, thanks to Wifey. I shouldn't have gone in the empty classroom. I shouldn't have shown my feelings to Clytus. I shouldn't have run away. I shouldn't have listened to the things that I saw. I want to cry, but I won't. Stay strong, Shaggy! <laughs> Like, you got this! My voice is shaking again. I don't even believe in what I'm saying, but I've got to keep trying. Why you? Because you watched it. If there's no hope, then it's over. I don't feel cold anymore. I step out of the shower and I put on some old clothes. I can freely move again. Why is Kale Kale? Why do you question it? <laughs> You played it ironically, yeah, sure. Just like you ironically joined a FNAF roleplay surfer. I put my doubt. My bird does not question me. In fact, I, if anything, I question him. He's as silly as I am. Have you seen him? Have you heard of anything he does? If so, then you, then you know that he probably doesn't question me. I put my towel back on the heater. I turn around to reach for the door. Oh, I don't remember what Italian Kermit sounds like. Not so fast, Sayori. I mean, uh, Shaggy. 
Do you think that you're because you're at home? That's Russian. What did Kermit sound like again? The Constantine. One second. One second. I just need a no. I got an ad. Okay, let, let the ad pass. Working dogs. What if I wanted to bring my pet turtle? Okay. Got it. Do you think that every because you're home, nothing can happen to you? Is it? You don't even know. Well, thanks, Kayla. Loved your attitude. Uh, yeah, I loved your attitude. No. It can't be you. This can't be real. It's as real as you want it to be. Without hesitation, I rush out of the bathroom and into my room, locking the door behind me. My heart's racing. You're not adopting my children. Shh. He's gone. I can't hear any steps. Don't forget. The rope. I open my mouth to speak, but no words are coming out. Why can't it stop? None of this ever happened before. Why now? I slam my fist on the door. Why? Like, why? Why do I deserve that? <laughs> this, this is unfair. I lay down on the floor. Am I seriously crying again? And here I thought I could fight. My life is nothing but a continuous web of lies. Lies to myself and lies to everybody else scared you. <laughs> I'm glad. I don't want to lie anymore. It's enough. It's... it's enough. I slowly open my eyes. It's so dark. Did I fall asleep? I sit on the floor. I have trouble remembering what happened. The only thing I know is that I took a shower. But I... I don't really remember anything else. I feel really empty. What's wrong? I'm at home, everything's okay. Maybe I should just draw a bit. I open my bag to get some pencils. Where is it? Oh, he's looking for his Scooby Snacks. Oh no. 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 What's this? The, the robe, I left it in my bag. I take it and I stare at it for a few minutes. Do I deserve this? <laughs> I suddenly I throw it at full force against my wall. I'm not using this rope, never. I'll just go out for a bit and I'll throw the rope away. I stand up and grab it, stuffing it in my bag. I don't look presentable at all, but it doesn't matter. I'll just have a quick walk and I'll find somewhere to dump it. What do you talk about slices for? You only gotta be a voice actor or something, seriously. Thank you. You know, I actually wanted to be a voice actor one day, at one point. I used to practice all these voice impressions, but who knows, you know, maybe it would be cool to do things like that. The city is silent. There are no lights in Kaleidos' house. Is he asleep already? I didn't even think about checking my clock. It's probably really late. It's a tick, okay. Okay, but how is it relevant? He'll pursue voice acting. Maybe. I have to find someone to... No. That'll let me voice act in something. I'll try not to stay out too long. I chuckle a bit. Then art. I want to pursue everything in the arts, to be honest. It's become a habit for me to go out like this. It's not really a bad thing. The air is refreshing. Okay, time to move on. Yes, including singing. Show my voice off, yeah. Yeah. Okay, time to move on. I just have to throw that rope away. And I'll come back home. Easy. I head for the park. I'll just throw it in the river. Well, Bug, I'm not good at whatever game that you were talking about. The one of the balls that you were talking about. Oh yeah, that's true. I am good at... I am good at your mom. That's right. She makes a good point. I head for the park. I'll just throw it in the river. I glance around. Nobody's looking at me. I open my bag and get ready to throw the rope over the fence in the river. Why won't my hands let go of it? No, I'm not gonna stop. It's just true. I'm just good. At, I'm just good at your mom, okay? I I don't want to keep it. Yeah, whatever, bug. Yeah, I know. I get it. You like balls and you like the game with the balls in it and you play it a lot. You have a certain strategy. I don't want things to end this way. This can't. This can't be my fate, right? 
Right. My voice is soft. Why do I sound so calm? Yeah, that was super calm. No matter- Yeah, some game that starts with an M, it was a Malk- Malk? Malk? Something like that? I don't remember. Maltz? Ah. It was like an M-A-L-C at the beginning. I think. There are definitely bolts. No matter how hard I try, my hand won't let go of the rope. Oh, I must have put grill and glue on it. I just give it up and put it back in my bag. I'm not going to use it anyway. I know that. I take a deep breath and I find myself looking at the sky again. Why is it so soothing? There are many, so many clouds. Mancala, okay, yeah, that's what it was called. That's the ball game. Just a little bit of wind and they'll go away. So why won't mine go away? If only I could know. If I could know what would make me happy. Maybe I should stop lying to myself. I know what would make me happy. Yeah, I couldn't fix a camera, but uh, what if I tried, huh? If I tried, to f if I just like fixed three, I would have the general knowledge to be able to say I've done it before. I, I, I have, it would have happened. I'd be able to say I fixed it, and then I have like some knowledge about it, so like maybe I'd be able to like finagle my way when trying to fix the camera. I'm gonna do it just so I can say again, and then you won't have something to hold above my head. Or boom. Yeah, I could probably fix her mom too. Just thinking about Clytus makes my heart beat faster. How cliche is that? Please don't try, why not? Why not? Thinking about him under a starry sky, that's stupid. You're leaving because your mom has nothing to do with this? Oh, she has everything to do with this. So, shut up, fuck. <laughs> your Maybe it's time for me to be honest with myself. I... Like, I love you, Clytus! <laughs> Why do I feel so relieved? I should hate myself for it. He loves Spacebar and she loves him back. I'm just selfish. Gladys has always been my friend. I just can't feel that kind of thing for him. But I know that it would make me happy. Isn't that horrible? Having to choose between your own happiness and others. He loves my mom and I hate it. <laughs> Cammy's the only one who loves me and I love Cammy back. Blah 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 blog. Blog. <laughs> oh yeah, I also went after Gumbo's mom in his dream. Gumbo had a dream where I... Where I... <laughs> you know... Gave his mom the old... But in this end, I have no choice. Gladys will be with a uh, spacebar and I'll just help him as much as I can. I didn't say I was dreaming of your mom. It was Gumbo that dreamed I did it to his mom. There is a difference. Okay, I wouldn't even make a good girlfriend. It wouldn't love me anyway. I don't deserve it. I'm nothing more than a tool. I'm just here to help everybody else. My own happiness doesn't matter. Oh, my eyes are filled with tears again. I'm so tired of always crying and thinking about those things. Oh, hi, the darts. Uh, you know all of this? Yeah, I'm great, Kaiser. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not tired. What are you talking about? Shut up. My eyes are filled with tears again. I'm so tired of always crying and thinking about those things. If only I could silence my thoughts. But if I do so, I'll never be have happy thoughts again. I can't let this happen. Kale? Cackle? Kaiser? Kais Kaiser? Kaiser, Kaiser. Cackle, yeah. I'll help Kaiser. I was about to say cackle. I was about to say Kaiser. I'll help Kaleidos. I'll make you happy. Kale, you're toward. I'm pretty toward right now. He'd be sad with me. Spacebar is gonna make his life all colorful. There's no space for me in his life. Only space for spacebar. Seems like I stayed here longer than I wanted to. So this is what I've been feeling. Love. Why does it hurt so much? People describe it as something beautiful. But to me, it just feels like I'm being stabbed every day. No matter the circumstances, I stay quiet. I can't tell Kalidus what I feel, nor can I tell anybody else. This will be my secret. One second. We gotta do something. And uh, yeah, what is it, guys? Oh uh, yeah, very... Very fascinating book. Okay. This will be my secret. 
Why is, why is everyone freaking out about the penis? What? Silly. Oh, okay. Later. I dry my tears and I pick up my bag. It's time to go home. Seems like Lydus is awake now. Is he alright? Maybe I should go check on him. I lift my finger to ring at his house. What am I thinking? He's probably just getting some water or something. That's stupid. I laugh at myself and I turn around. He doesn't even need me. I open my door and I head to my room. So I couldn't throw the rope away, huh? I'm too weak for that. I'll just put it in my closet. It may come in handy later. Ropes aren't necessarily used for... Or... No. They're definitely not used for that. I slam the closet door and I sit on my bed. Yes, Kaiser. I deserve some rest right now, especially after all I've been through. I lay down on my bed. My mind is so noisy. Thinking about... Lydus, about what we could have been together if I hadn't been such a horrible person. I'll sleep, okay? I will. Would we be happy? Would we look forward to seeing me every day? Would he? Just like he said, there's no point in speculating about things that'll never happen. I'm not worth anything, of course. Nothing will ever happen. <laughs> Space Mouse is so lucky. I close my eyes. I can hear my own heartbeat. I wish I could be next to Glidus. I wish he could hug me tight and tell me it's gonna be alright. But that's not happening. Never. I feel a tear on my cheek, it doesn't matter. I just want to sleep already. I think that I can end off over here now. Oh, I went a whole 41 minutes over an hour? Oh Jesus Christ. Perpetually, Monica. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> but, uh, if you just came, thank you for coming in, thank you for the following, uh, if you just I came in, I'm sorry, but I, I'm ending now, <laughs> so, maybe I'll see you later. But, hi there, by the way, your voice in the game is a seductive Kermit. Just thought you'd know that, you should know that, Monica. Now, let me see if I can raid someone that would be happy about it. No one is dreaming that I, that will really need it. Streaming. No, I don't want to open up my own stream. No, I don't want to do that. Uh, let's see, maybe a another person streaming Doki Doki. Who really? This guy maybe. When you uh, step he doesn't need it. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna sleep. Okay, just give me a second. I'm gonna try to raid someone. Uh, how many people? Experience okay. score update. Uh, Make a splash with JF64. Boost your FICO score okay. instantly free with Experian Boost. Download the free Experian app. What another was your? I don't huh. care what the consequences are now. I don't care if Monica is listening. What do you know? Guys, give me a sleepover. Cable, 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 sleeper cable. Yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep. And uh, if you want, you can come back over here and have a sleepover in the chat, but. Uh, you missed the stream? Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> you were here the whole time. I know you were. Bull bike for like, second half. I know, I, uh, I know that you probably left it open. Okay. Uh, I'm ready to go say hi to JF64. You didn't get to tell Kayla's audio. Yeah, everyone thought I purposely had the audio off for the first, uh, like, hour until, and I realized it was off, and I was like, why did none of you tell me? And then they were just like, rawr, 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 rawr. <laughs> Yeah, okay, bye. Thank you for being here. Goodbye. Uh, really appreciate it. And I'll see you Monday. Maybe Halo, maybe Minecraft. One of the two. Farewell for now. And good night. Sleep well.